Okay guys, today we're doing something a little bit different and something that I hope will be fun and insightful for y'all. So, to start it off, we are going to be doing what I'm considering a Mylar Blanket Showdown. And what I mean by this is, if you go on a place like Amazon, you'll find hundreds in, of different types of Mylar Blankets in different sizes, different uh, thicknesses, and just a whole plethora of different makers, whether they're name brands like Survive Outdoors Longer, or whether they're just gener generic brands like Primacare, that is really like not a brand. So with all these options, that led me to thinking, you know, what is the difference between them aside from price point? Because there's actually a pretty hefty price point difference, especially in my comparison. And so do these cheaper Mylar blankets hold up well? Do they keep you warm? And are they effective? And so that's what I want to answer today. Okay guys, so took off the jacket and the face mask to help kind of uh, make me a little bit more prone to the outer elements. Okay, so this is the first one we're testing and we're gonna go in chronological order from the least expensive, hopefully this shows up for y'all, but the least expensive to the most, or sorry, the most expensive to the least expensive. And we're starting out with a, we're starting out with a Survive Outdoors Longer. And this is the heavy duty emergency blank size. It says it's a five foot by eight foot. So that should be more than enough to cover me quite well. However, there's only one way to truly test that. So let's dig into it. Another nice bonus about these Survive Outdoor Longer shelters is they do have a resealable plastic bag. So for any water collection, it is handy to have its packaging. Um, to me, it says it's thicker than a standard Mylar blanket. To me, it really doesn't look any thicker, but yeah. So anyways, this is in olive drab and of course Mylar reflective. So let's break this thing out. Now I will say it doesn't necessarily look any thicker, but it does feel thicker. Um, most Mylar blankets feel a lot like a trash bag. This surprisingly doesn't feel like a trash bag. So that's an advantage. Very complicated, but I figure something like this works pretty well. You guys can see as I'm standing up, it does a pretty good job. And of course, if I was really cold, trying to get warm, I'd probably sit down. But you can see that uh, it does a pretty effective job at fully covering me. It'd probably look really stupid as hell, but sometimes in survival, it's not about looking good. It's just about living. And so, yeah. As far as the Mylar goes, I can already feel it starting to kick in and start to uh, reflect the heat back. So it's doing a pretty good job at that. Of course, Mylar blankets aren't some, you know, miracle material. They do require you to be emitting heat and for it to be reflecting back. But I would say that this is comfortable, easily as warm as the coat that I was just wearing. In fact, actually probably a little bit warmer because my coat's designed to keep me at an operating temperature, not necessarily just heat me up. This thing's doing a pretty good job at heating me straight up. So if I was colder than I am, because right now I'm about average heat, um, it doesn't really need to heat me up too much, but I'm certainly feeling the heat. So i say that this is a win. I like this one a lot. Uh, initial impressions does a great job of covering me and it does a great job at reflecting. And once again, one of the things that I get from a lot of my love blankets that I've tested in the past is kind of this trash bag feel and even sometimes smell. And uh, this one, well, I can't really smell it today. It definitely does not feel like a trash bag. It feels really sturdy. It feels really thick. And uh, I actually like this one a lot so far. Okay. So I would say so far, this one's definitely a win. Now I totally forgot to mention, this one is $15 per blanket. So uh, this one's definitely pricey, but I am liking it. And like I said, really heated me up and it, there's a lot of room to it. So our second product is another Survive Outdoors Longer. This one, as I will state the price now, comes in at about $5 to $4, sometimes three. I believe I got this for about like four and a half. This one, I will say, is my go-to for Mylar blankets. So you'll find it in my personal survival kit. You'll find it in my car. You'll find it uh, in the backpack, really everywhere. This is my go-to. For it because the primary reason 
for this being my go-to is it's just as large as this big uh, mylar blanket we just tested. It's just thinner. And from my experience, these have been my favorite. And it's very hard to find a five by seven mylar blanket. And these ones are five by seven feet and they just work really well. Now granted, these are very thin and definitely, now that I see the difference, this is substantially thinner, but it is large and it's not so thin that it's see-through because some of these, as I'll test in a little bit, are so thin that you can actually see through them. So anyways, this is not rated necessarily for shelters, but still is a pretty good mylar blanket from my experience, but I want to test it side by side, something like this. So definitely smells like a trash bag <laughs> now that I can smell. Um, but it does a good job at covering. Once again, it's the same size as that one, if not maybe a little bit smaller. If I actually wrap around correctly, I'll probably do just fine. <laughs> a little bit harder to wrap around, but uh, you guys can see here that once again it'd be better if I was sitting down as opposed to uh, standing up. Uh, the other disadvantage with this thinner material is it really likes to stick to itself, so I'm having some issues fully like unraveling it. But once again, I'm feeling a really nice immediate heat, and if you sit with mylar blankets and you work with them, you know, you sit down with them and you really make sure that you're getting full coverage and not getting too many heat leaks, you'll immediately start feeling a really nice uh, warmth. So I have no, as far as heat goes in full body wrap, I have no complaints with really either of them. They both did a great job. So those are the two kind of brand names, Survive Outdoors Longer. They're both good. Interesting thing, if you like it, this one does have a whole bunch of survival instructions. However, from my experience, it's very hard to actually print on mylar so do be warned that this stuff does rub off really easily so if you're really relying on the survival instructions it may rub off okay so let's jump into the final few of these mylar blankets now i said that the original one was 15 dollars the next one is five dollars and the next one is at the bottom of this little baggie the next most expensive one if i remember correctly is this grabber space blanket and this one is also so this one's about three and a half dollars if i remember correctly and it's definitely getting into the smaller thinner side of the emergency blankets okay so a few moments later we finally got this little bastard unrolled so what I wasn't actually expecting to say a dislike this early, but I honestly did not like the way that this one came out of its packaging. The reason why is it took a very long time to actually get this out in contrast to the rest of these shelters, and there's a lot of dexterity to it. And my biggest thing with Livar Blankets is if you're already freezing and you don't have fine motor skills, this is going to be a pain in the ass to get open. So really don't like that. Though one good thing is we have not reached see-through territory, so this blanket, you guys cannot see me through or I can't see you guys through. So that's always a plus. Um, so let's see how much of my body this covers. Now I do believe that this will not be able to cover my whole body, but we'll give it an attempt. So I'll start off with my neck and just go down from there. But yeah, definitely didn't cover everything. It's a little bit finicky, hard to get all, over, all the way around me. But could work. So it does an okay job. It does get most of me, and the width is definitely what's killing me. This thing is not very wide. That's a little bit unfortunate because uh, I'm not a particularly thick person. I mean, I'm not the most narrow person, but not particularly thick, so it not wanting to cover my width very well is a bit problematic. Um, granted, I am wearing some, you know, kit. That does make it a little bit harder, not substantially harder. 
Okay, so this one is working okay. It's definitely not building heat up as well as the other two. Um, I think that's primarily due uh, to the thickness and the, really the coverage. Um, obviously, if you don't, if you're not as much of your body is covered. Uh, with Mylar blankets, the entire way they work is by reflecting the body's heat. So, if the, so the less of the body that's covered, the less body heat that is being reflected. However, it works okay. So, that's a start. Uh, most expensive one. And I think this one's actually fairly close to the uh, Grabber space blanket. This one is about like three something. This is a just generic brand. It's like Safe or Swiss Safe. Just like a generic brand name uh, that really doesn't mean much to anyone. However, I do like the way it's folded. It's folded just like the two SOLs. So you know it's going to deploy pretty rapidly and without a lot of you know, fine motor skills. I'm also liking that, just like the SOLs, this has a <clears throat> non, like, sticky kind of uh, surface to it. So it's something that you have to experience with Mylar blankets, but some of your more cheap blankets, kind of like this grabber here, or not kind of like, but like this grabber, they really stick to themselves. And once again, when you're trying to get something open in a fast way, having the material sticking to itself like crazy, kind of uh, is not very useful so you guys can see this thing opened up pretty fast without too much issue let's say it has a gold interior i'm going to assume that this is the interior <laughs> so so that's it long ways we'll try it stop this way short ways So this one, definitely once again running into a wideness issue, like it can cover your legs pretty well, but uh, it's having some issues covering my body, especially around my shoulders, like it's not really wanting to stay together that well and cover me. So this one, I'm really not liking for that. I like the actual build of it, and it, for what it seems, it seems to actually be pretty thick, thicker than I was anticipating, however the issue is that uh, its width is not really working out here. So having a really difficult time you guys can see it covers my legs well but when we get to my hips it's really struggling like it's just barely getting there not really and then of course when we get to my shoulders it's just all falling apart so this could work in a pinch but i would not recommend this one due to that fact um, it seems the areas it's covering so when i can get it to cover me kind of it seems like it's doing an okay job at keeping the heat in however the issue is it's trying to get the blanket to cover me that's really the issue more than anything so I like the thickness and build quality on this one actually it seems pretty good better than the grabber for sure but um, it just seems very small okay so now on to the last one this one I occasionally use and this is a big jump from the last one so the last one we talked about was about three and a half to three and a quarter dollars per blanket and this one if i can actually get it open you can only get these prima care ones in packs of 10 but the packs of 10 cost seven dollars and fifty cents so what it ends up being is about 75 cents per blanket and i really cannot get this thing open dang so this is substantially the cheapest uh, survival blanket here by a wide margin so let's see what it's like now i do have a bit of experience with these ones and i'm not super happy with them and they're not my favorite but i like them in one way now i will say you kind of get what you pay for when you pay for a seven 75 cent mylar blanket it's not terribly large and Now, in fairness, this one, oh no, it already broke itself. So, that kind of gives you guys a good idea of what a 75 cent <laughs> uh, Mylar blanket will do. So, it ripped right there very easily. And once again, a reminder that if you do plan on using Mylar blankets, you got to be careful with them. They are pretty thin. Uh, this one is, uh, in this lighting, it's not quite accurately representing, but these are see-through thin. And um, 
yeah, they're very, very lightweight. Now, I will say it was easier to open this one than the grabber, but, uh, yeah, they, they rip very easily. I'll try to cover myself with it. This is a very, very not-so-wide blanket. Um... <laughs> So this one, I'm not even going to try going just width and leaving the length for me. Um, I know it's not going to work that way. So this is basically the coverage you're going to get out of this thing. Now, in fairness, Mylar is Mylar. So um, it does a good job at keeping your core warm so long as you don't rip it, which this blanket is very easy to rip. So if you do have to use something this cheap, be very cautious with it. Um, it is keeping me pretty warm. It's reflecting the heat pretty well. I'm actually starting to get a little bit chilled now that I don't have my uh, jacket on, so, and I've stopped moving. I don't have my jacket on, so I can definitely feel the heat of it, and it's nice. So the Mylar itself is doing its job, which is pretty good. I had, I did not have very high hopes for these PrimaCare blankets because of the fact that they are so thin, but it is still doing a good job. Like I said, I can immediately start feeling the heat. Um, however, I do not recommend these PrimaCare blankets because of the fact that you guys can see how little of my body it covered and how easily they tear it. I mean, these things, you just look at them the wrong way and it tears apart. So.